Hi everyone. So today, um, as you know, in the last episode, we picked out this lovely spot for a house build. And I am going to build using a blueprint. So I spent some time in creative mode in a just random world and went ahead and put together a house blueprint. Now blueprints in this game are really neat. Um, there are a number of blueprints that you can create and upload to the Steam Workshop. There's, as you can see, a ton that you can download. Um, what we're going to do is use the one I created. Now, keep in mind, if you create one, I just figured this out. If you play on different computers and you create one and you don't load it to the Steam Workshop and you just keep it in your local folder, it, of course, will not it's not saved on the server so you can't go to another computer and access it you'd have to load it to the steam workshop in order to do that so once you have your blueprint and we'll go in the blueprints a little more later um, you're going to get the cornerstone and then we're going to go to our craft our bag excuse me we've got a cornerstone right there so we're going to plug that into our hotkey bar and we are going to place our cornerstone now if i remember correctly well that is not what i wanted to do let's go use that actual hotkey all right so this shows the house itself where it'll place i kind of want to move it over just maybe one block yeah there we go now let's see how it sits. Hmm. For the plans I have for it, I think this will work. Yeah. Or do I want to set it the other way? See, the cool thing is you can pick up the cornerstone and do like this and then just, um, go around and try different angles with it, try different ways you want it to sit. That butts up right against the edge, which is not a big deal. I can come back around and weed that down. Actually, that works out perfect because I've got some plans for this area right here next to the house. All right, so this is where we're going to set the house. So you want to interact with the cornerstone and hit F. This shows you the materials you need. Um, you can swap out the materials, which I haven't tried yet. Um, you can do some different things like that, but you can also get like a kit and do some different things that way. But we're just going to go with what we have right now. So we're going to gather the materials ourselves. Hmm. There we go. Okay. So... That's odd. Why is that not? Hmm. Am I forgetting something here? That's not how I want to do it. Okay. So let's go ahead and... So it's going to show you where to put the blocks. Or where the blocks are going to be. It should. I'm a little confused as to what is going on here. Show hemp blocks on top. Alright, for some reason it is not showing where I need to put the pieces. That is weird. And that is not ideal. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to stop. Alright, we're going to keep playing with this. I'm a little confused as to why it's only showing the door, but we're gonna put the door down and see what happens. So it's showing the door. Oh, now it's showing other things. Okay. It is rather bizarre, but all right. All right. So when you place it, then you can start building it and it will show you where some of the blocks are at which I wish it would show a few more because that, you know, obviously was really confusing, but that's okay. We've crafted a wood door before, but, you know, you scroll down to it, 
we have the vines, the wood, the beeswax. I did go ahead and go and gather all the materials I thought I would need. So we've got a whole bunch of stone and we are going to make some stacked stone from that. So we go back down, actually, let's use the search bar. There we go, stack stone wall. And we have need stone rods for it too. I bet we're gonna need quite a bit of this. Let's go with that and see. Okay. So where it shows you to place these blocks, you place them. A lot of times it will autofill like that. There we go. That will autofilled a nice big chunk of blocks. There's some more. So I, yeah, I went ahead and did this blueprint just like I said. So we didn't fit, spend the whole time like building a little bit and then trying to figure out what to do next and building a little bit more and trying to figure out what's next. And I just didn't want to do that to y'all. So I figured this would be the better way to go. But we are going to add on to this blueprint. So I'm using the stacked stone, just regular crag wood, and I'm using a thatched roof. And I will show you guys how to make that thatched roof in just a moment. All right, I think that's all the wood pieces for now. Now, thatched roof to our crafting menu. Thatched. Maybe it's just thatch roof. Take all that extra tea. There it is. All right. I'm going to need to build a processor because I have plenty of leaves. I just don't have enough. Um, there we go. We got plenty of stuff to make processor. I have plenty of leaves, but I did not, um, Think to go ahead and create shredded leaves and if you recall we can create shredded leaves using a processor so we just chop some leaves while that's going actually let's move the dirt wherever it went back to that bar because we're going to use it to get a little height My cat is trying to, my cat Oreo is trying to keep me company here. Now one of the really nice things about the autofill is placing a roof can be a bit awkward just because of all the different angles and everything that you have set up. So um, being able to autofill some of it like that comes in handy so you don't have to constantly place them in different with different angles. Let's go back. Boy, I'd like to see a, you know, recently used or something like that. That would be nice. Okay. Let's see how far along we can get with those. Do I have sand? Yeah, we picked up sand. I vaguely recall picking up sand. I'll have to check here in a second. There we go. Cat is trying to sit on the mouse. We did not want a piece of roof to go there. Oh, still need more. More thatched roof. I could just sit here and like wait for it to, <laughs> there we go, Ooh, we're going to leave it right there for a moment because we are running low on vines, would be the story of my life if I thought I had everything and I didn't, whoa, 
There's some of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's pop back up on the roof. See, a blueprint does make it a lot easier. Um, I'll have to show you. Otherwise, you'd have to, like, rotate and place certain blocks. So, again, this does make it a whole lot easier. I think that's just about all of the basic roof. I think. We might be missing some pieces inside. I'll have to look there. We're still missing some stacked stone. Whoop, not there. We might be moving inside. Yeah, let's do that. Actually. Do I need the forge for the glass? I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay. So... I wanted a basic build that just, you know, gets you the bare minimum, a place to put your bed, a few torches, a few windows, and um, so that's why I have a smaller build here. Of course, we are going to, my plan is to expand on this, and um, slabs going. My plan is to expand on this of course but this will get us going right with what we need and it did not save the floor but that's okay. I remember what the floor was supposed to be so it was just going to be a basic wood floor so there are a ton of customization options in this game different types of wood different types of created blocks like the stacked stone look so, I wanted to stick with basic materials when we first started out. Might have to go get some more vines. But, I should be able to get this at least to the point where we could stay in it at night. Did we not pick up sand? I could have sworn we picked up sand. We're going to have to go get some sand. It's okay though, we can just put some regular blocks in the way of where the windows would go if we need to overnight, so no big concern there. Yeah, that is so bizarre. Oh well, no, no worries. Like I said, I, <laughs> I should have known better than to think I was going to get it all in one go. So what I did was I just created the small little tiny house with a loft up there, which is where our bed will go. Now let me look at the basic wood floor. I can't remember what, that's the wood wall. Personally, I don't think there's a big difference between the wood wall and the wood floor, but wood slab, wood rod, and melted wax and we need a forge in order to do melted wax so what do I need for my forge stone slab wood slab and we have bedrock all right we can do that got our stone slabs or our wood slabs get a couple stone slabs going should probably go ahead and get some wood rods going because I saw we were going to need those at some point. We do have the bedrock, I believe, so we should be good there. So let's see. Now, we have enough for our forge. And this is fine. We will... I have a place to put it in in my new house once we get the floor in place so we can just do it here we can use coal to fuel it or we can use um, any type of wood works as well right. I don't think I'll need a ton your forge is where you're gonna process 
your ores. Most, mostly your ores, your glass, your beeswax, which is melted wax, as you saw. Alright. Anything that really just requires any sort of heat or melting type of resource, um, that will be that will be what you use your forge for. Alright, so let's make some wood floor. I'm probably going to need more than that. Let's go ahead and grab some more wood slabs. Alright, let's go ahead and start laying down the wood floor. Figure out We're also going to go ahead and make our bed because as it's getting later, yep, yeah, I figured. Wood floor. Now that we've got that placed, we can go ahead and bring these in. That glowing block will go away once we um, get all of the blueprint blocks in place. So, And the cool thing is, once we get all the blueprint blocks in place and we've completed the build, then we can basically customize it any way we want to. Now, we do not have the sand to make windows, so for now, do I have any of the logs? Doesn't look like it, yeah. So we're just going to use some basics. No, we're not going to use some basic stone. <laughs> okay, so we're going to make a bed. And try to go ahead and sleep. So we don't have to worry about the mobs. We're also going to make a ladder to get us up to the loft bed. There is our ladder. This is where our bed will go. There's a place for a little chest. And then you have some more windows up here as well. So let us actually go ahead and sleep for the night. Since we're basically sleeping in an area <laughs> with open, open uh, space that all kinds of monsters can come into. I'm going to wait for it to brighten up just a little bit before we venture outside. We're going to go ahead and make that storage chest. And we should already have the torches. So other than the windows, I think all the basic blueprint build items will be in place. So I have, uh, you can see what looks like little mini torches up here. That's just showing you where to place them. So we do that. We head on down. Whoop, not there. Got a couple more there and a couple more there. So all we like are our windows and for windows we need glass. And how do you get glass in this game? Well you have to get some sand. So you remember when we first started exploring, actually I think it was in the last episode and we got near the beach area. That is where I'm thinking we will find some sand. 
So it is going to take us a bit to get there. We'll, we'll chat on the way there, hopefully, if I can find it. We'll chat on the way there, and then I may edit out the trip back just to keep things, um, keep things fairly, keep things moving. So I've been trying to think of how I want to do recorded episodes versus, um, yeah, here we go. How I want to do recorded episodes and how I want to use like my Twitch channel that I have. So what I think I'm going to do is create a world on my Twitch channel where I do a lot of those blueprint builds, like feature a lot of other player builds and things like that. Of course, giving credit to them. Now see, we're pulling sand here, so we're going to go ahead and pull a good chunk so we don't have to do this again anytime soon. But just making the Twitch channel kind of just a chill place where I go in and just build stuff. Maybe do my own builds sometimes. Feature other builds. Actually, I'm going to turn off the flashlight right here because it is plenty bright without it. I noticed this when I was gathering the resources, so I might have just been out of the loop recently on updates for Creativeverse. They just did kind of a tidying up update um, a little bit ago, but I didn't know we had like the cloudy days like this. To me, it was always either sunny days or nighttime, you know? Okay. Yeah, we'll just pull one more, make it even 50. Okay. So, I will see you back at the homestead. So, A, I got a little bit of loss, and B, I remembered we had our little uh, touchstone here back at this cave. So, <laughs> I wanted to come back and get that, thus, if we get killed... We can actually go back to our, um, do we have any more extractors? No. Um, we can go back to our actual home that we're making. So, of course, now that I've done that, we have lost our directional, um, map. But that's okay. I'm going to try to... pretty sure it is east so I would like to be able to make my way back to this cave one of these days so we are going to head back this direction and I will see you when I get back to the house so funny story I got lost after I picked up that touchstone so we are going to go ahead and first thing we're going to do is put that touchstone back down. Woo! Got lost. Alright, so we have our sand. We're going to use our forge and make some glass to make our little wood windows that we're going to make. I'll just do a few more. Yeah. It was still hard to see that um, beam of light because I guess that because the day is cloudy. Alright, so we're going to look at window. Oh, I flipped all caps there. Alright, wood window. We'll need some stone rod, which we can get by processing some of our stone. Go ahead and get the rest of this glass. Oh my goodness. Those big mountains that you see in the distance from the house are actually what helped uh, write me in terms of direction. Because I was like, those are the biggest mountains I've seen and I don't think I've went that far. So if I see them 
in front of me, then I should turn <laughs> a little and backtrack. And that's exactly what I did. So. Oh, hang on. Alright. Now, let's get some windows. I can't remember how many. Oh, now I need to process wood rods. So many widgets and whatnots. Again, though, I tried to stick with the simplest materials for the initial build. Like I said, once you finish the blueprint, you can um, really design it any way you want to. So there is one window. I like having the... I like having um, nice big windows. Go ahead and get out of those. So yeah, you can use this little egg X to kind of exit out some of these. And uh, it'll get to processing what else you need. So actually, do I have a two window spot or is it a four window spot up here? It's four windows. Okay, so I need... <sighs> Eight more windows. I think that's right. Eight more windows. Which we now have. Excellent. So we got those. And our final item to put in place. And our build should be complete. Why is that still out there? What are we missing? Must be missing something. Let's go take a look. See what it tells us. No? No? I think we're done. So that means we can remove the block. There we go. One starter house. Nothing super fancy. Instead of building out the biggest thing is just instead of building out, I built up and created that little loft area. So you go in and you have a place to put your initial little stations here. You've got plenty of area to put storage and whatnot here. you got your loft up here with your bed and your storage chest, which we can now use to put a lot of our extra stuff into. Now I'm the type I like to sort every, anything and everything. I'm trying to look at stuff I know we're not going to use like just immediately offhand. I don't think we're going to use. Now I'd like to get into farming maybe in the next, next episode. Where are we at on time? Oh yeah, we're fine because I'm going to have to go back and edit out some of this. Some of the wandering is probably not exactly the most interesting of um, things to watch. So, actually no, we're going to take that back out. So now we've, that's essentially using a blueprint and it is now nighttime outside. I think we picked a really good spot. I am digging this pretty good. Actually, I wonder how that water curves. Okay, it curves that way. It'd be really cool if you could build up maybe another little waterfall like right here. That would be pretty. We might go back and do that. Sorry, you gotta enjoy the night sky area here too. So I'm thinking Actually, I might end this one a little early since this was all house building. What I'm thinking I'm going, what I, what I'm thinking, what I think I'm going to do in the next episode, I think we're going to expand out here and we're going to get started making some of the basic furniture. So I'm going to create, I think, a little, um, might create a little fenced in area, go ahead and put us a table and chairs out here, you know, give us a nice little deck to enjoy our view right here that's um, fenced in and should be 
should be pretty protected from any baddies. I think we might also go ahead and figure out what our farm space is going to be. If I can go back and find that cave <laughs> again, <laughs> I would like to go cave exploring some. We do need to start collecting some obsidian and start collecting some other things. Do we have enough to finish out our armor? I think we do. We might do that as well here in a moment. Okay. So I'll probably do a little bit of cleanup here off camera. I'm just going to carve out a little bit of extra space behind the house just for when... Oh, look. They're already out and about. Um, carve out a little space back there for us so that when we put our fence and stuff down nothing can like go over the edge of a little cliff into our little fenced in area like so we'll do that designate a little farm space i think um or we may just go exploring in the next one i'm not sure so we do still have the cornerstone for that house so theoretically i could build another one of those or build them as many times as i would like but we're just going to stick that in our chest for now let us go see quickly we are still no we are fully equipped it looks like um though our breastplate does look like it's damaged so let's see if we can create another one it looks like we can so let us do that and swap that one out because that looks like that has taken some damage yep so yeah we're either going to expand on our house in the next episode or we're going to go ahead and start doing some more cave exploring. Um, I will probably do a little bit of housekeeping off camera with our chest. Just dumping some things I don't think we'll need in there before the start of the episode. And we'll just go from there. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm enjoying working on this a lot. Um, and um, I guess I will see you in the next episode. So thanks everyone and bye for now.